Matt, yes. have you um, been on one of these go karts before? Not really. No. Not really. No. It's pretty cool, eh? Huh? Yeah. I believe you've got a blog. Yes. Do you quite enjoy creative writing? Yes, a lot. Are you going to pursue that when you grow up? Do you want to be a um, a writer? I don't like want to be specifically a writer. I actually want to get into more when I'm older. Law. <laughs> Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What type of law? Lawyer. Court lawyer. Court lawyer, like fighting in the courts. So Matt, um, you've been in the ICU here yes. at the Red Cross Children's Hospital? Yes. Three years ago. For how long? For about five days. Five days? Yes. Do you remember much of the experience? Not really, I was in a convent at the time. So. How do you feel that experience impacted on you? It's, I don't know, it makes you... Um, almost not take little problems so deeply as suppose. Why were you in ICU? I had um, pneumonia at the time and I was on a antibiotic that I had allergic reaction to. I believe it's, it's cystic fibrosis. Yes. I see on the side of your blazer here, Chester yes. House. Yes, Chester and, House. And what does it say underneath it? Um, courage and spice, that's the motto. And that sounds like it should be your personal motto. It sounds like you inspire a lot of people through um, your courage. I suppose I've never really thought about it that way. You've never really thought about it? Okay. I think you're being a little bit humble, so I'm going to ask your mom, Natalie, to come and join us. Natalie, tell us about just how courageous Matt actually is. He is a very courageous boy. You know, he just takes life in his stride does everything everybody else does, but he, you know, his life is different. He's got a lot of extra things and extra mm. challenges and worries than, than other kids. What about you, Mom? You, you as, as a parent, how's the experience of him going into ICU? In South Africa, there's not many people that know about cystic fibrosis or know how to treat cystic fibrosis properly. So the Red Cross has been really a lifeline for us. We really felt like he was in the best hands, that if anybody was going to get to the bottom of the problem or save his life, it was going to be the Red Cross. Such a great team of doctors, uh, Brenda the physio, Marco Zampoli, the doctor, Margie the social worker, and um, I, I really don't know what we would do without them. It just kind of echoes why a hospital like this needs support. Matt, in terms of law, you do know there's a lot of big words, eh? Yes. What are some of the big words that you have? Cystic fibrosis, palmazine, ventilator, nebulizer, pseudomonas. These are words that just roll off your tongue. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Wow. That's, that you, sh you shouldn't know. You shouldn't know words like that. You shouldn't be able to roll words like pseudomonas off his tongue that easily. And you need to help us because we're needing to expand and build a bigger and better ICU. So please donate today. It's very easy. All you have to do is SMS ICU to 40465 at a cost of 20 Rand. You can donate online as well if you want, childrenshospitaltrust.org.za. But donate today, please. And let's make a difference because this hospital is doing its best to make a difference and to help young men like Matt become the best he possibly can become. Good luck to you, young man. Thank you.